Hi everyone, my name is Anne Marie. Welcome to Fab Scraps Card Making Project number 27. Today we're going to be using the Wild and Free collection from Fab Scraps to make a gorgeous card. Now I'm actually making it into a Get Well card, but you could change it and make it into a birthday card, into a graduation card, into a thank you card, into any occasion that you want to make it into. I think it works for um, feminine and masculine. It is an easy idea and it's a gorgeous card. Everything I do here is I should put in a detailed list on my blog, so please be sure to check it out. You can also purchase your fab kits directly through the link on my blog, so check that out. And you can also see lots of photos of both inside and outside of the card. Plus, there's so many more projects on the blog. So take five minutes and just have a look and see what takes your fancy. And I'm sure it might help creatively. If not, it will just maybe get your creative juices flowing. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you like the collection, let me know. Let Fab Scraps know because they'd love to hear from you as much as I would. And I just think this is a gorgeous card and something a little bit different. Maybe you're not into flowers. Maybe you want something that is, like I said, a bit more masculine. Or maybe you just love animals. And I think this is for that animal lover. Maybe you've been on safari, maybe you travel a lot. Great one for retirement, for safe journeys, etc. It's just got, I think, an abundance of uses, this collection. Sit back, relax, and let's have a look at today's gorgeous project. For our Fab Scraps project today, we're going to need our base card. Now, the base card that I'm going to be using is a 7x5 inch card, and I'm going to show you this on our cardometer. Now, for any new viewers, this is a cardometer, it's something I've designed, and it gives you perspective at home of the size of card that I'm using. The largest is the A4, then we go down to the A5, which is A4 folded in half. The next is the 7x5, and that's the size that I'm using today. Now, it's an ivory-based card. I've already put my handmade stamp on the back and filled my name in. And for any recipients, that just shows who's made it for them. And in years to come, if they save it, it means they'll be able to remember that you made it. So I'm going to take a bone folder and I'm just going to run along the edge of the card to make the crease nice and sharp so when it stands up on a mantelpiece it's going to look a little bit more professional and it just makes it stand up nicely I think. Now we're going to do the inside first. This is all from the Fab Scraps Wild and Free collection and I've used a little bit of purple cardstock with it only because it's going to turn in as one of our layers. But the first thing for the inside of our card is I've cut another piece of ivory cardstock and I've cut it about a quarter of an inch smaller than the inside of the actual card. I've then taken an ink pad and I've just tapped it around the edge and it was a purple ink pad. It, you could use any, mine was a Distress Ink. I've got flat tape on the back of it and I'm just going to insert it into the centre of our card and press it down. Next, I've used a Swallowtail die to cut out one of the papers from the Wild and Free collection. You can see it's double sided. I've used this paper from, there were some decoupage elements in the collection and I've just die cut that paper because it's all double sided. So on one side was the decoupage elements that we're not using for this card. But I just like the design of the paper. So I decided to use that. I'm going to insert that into my card roughly about there. And press it down. Next, I've die cut a piece of ivory cardstock again with the swallowtail dies. These are just a set of swallowtail nesting dies that I've got in my stash. You could use any shape, but these are going to match perfectly to the outside of the card. I've hand stamped um, a sentiment that says feel better soon. 
this card, um, it didn't start off as a get well card, but it's turned into one. And it's actually, as soon as this project is over and the card is created, it's going to a friend. So it's going to produce this card. And I think you could use it for any occasion and especially for all those gentlemen in our lives. It would work really well. So I've used a stamp from my stash and it's just on flat tape on the back and I'm just going to pop that roughly over the top of our previous die cut and then I've taken a scrap of paper that I had, I've used a black marker just to add dots along both sides to make it look like stitching and I've got flat tape on the back. This could be any size but I just want to make it look as though that I've used that to stick everything down at the top. Kind of like washi tape. And that's our insert complete. Nice and simple. We've got lots of space to write on to write a message and it says exactly what you want it to say whether it's get well soon, happy birthday, happy anniversary, safe travels etc. So I think that's going to work perfectly for me for this card. Now we can turn our attention to the front of the card. I'm just going to use my bone folder again just to make sure that I've still got that nice sharp crease along the top. Now the first layer is a base layer and it's cardstock just from my stash. It's um, a purple cardstock. I've cut it to less than quarter of an inch smaller than the card and I've just got flat tape on the back of it. So I can peel the back of the tape away and then I can lay this onto our card. I'm just going to turn it so I can see and we're just going to pop it onto the card and hopefully get it kind of central. There we go. And then I can press that down as our base layer. Now my next layer is a layer that I've taken from the Wild and Free collection. Again, they're all double sided. I've cut it smaller, quarter of an inch smaller than the previous layer. And I've just used a corner punch to round the corners away. I've got this on flat tape as well. Now you might be thinking, why have I left that hole? I could have been economical with it. Well, it's quite a well, it's nearly a paper rather than a cardstock. And I just thought, you know what, I'm, on this occasion, I'm going to leave it as it is. Because I don't think for me there's any point trying to save any of that. So I can lay my next layer on top of my previous layer and press it down. What a gorgeous pattern and what a gorgeous colourway as well, purple and green. So that's our next layer. Next I've taken one of the papers from the Wild and Free collection and I've die cut three large swallow tails. I've put 3D foam on the back of them and I'm going to arrange them on the front of the card just to be offset to two sides like that. I don't want them hanging over the card on this occasion because I want it to fit in a standard envelope and the third die cut will go in the centre like so and we can press it down there we go and then our next layer I've die cut three smaller swallow tails one is out of the one of the papers um, it's the same paper that we use for the insert Two of the swallow tails I've taken from one of the decoupage sheets. 
Now, these were designs that were in circles, but the way I've positioned the actual dies, I've die cut it, I've made it just look like an image. So we've got the, I'm going to say, is it a gazelle or an antelope and the zebra? And I'm going to position one at one side and one at the other side over the previous um, swallowtail dies. And then I'm going to add the centre one that's plain through the centre. And once I know these are all in the right position, then I can press them down. There we go. I've taken the one of the border strips that's in the collection and I've simply made a loop with the border strip. And on the back of it I've got 3D foam. I've just turned it over and I've actually got an eyelet in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a purple eyelet and I'm simply going to slip that underneath the zebra and press it down. And then I've got one for the other side that's exactly the same and I'm going to just slip that under and press that down. There we go. Now for the centre I've taken some of the beer board that's included in the Wild and Free collection. I've tapped an ink pad over it, well three ink pads, a pink one, a red one, a purple one, four ink pads. A pink one, a red one, a purple one and a vintage brown one. And then I've used clear embossing powder over the top, heat embossed it. I've got 3D foam on the back of it. Now this says born to be wild. Now the person this card's going to isn't a flower person. And I thought this would be perfect for her. Um, and it's ideal for so many occasions. Scrapbooking, paper crafting, card making. So I can press that down on the centre swallowtail die layer. And then I'm going to finish the card off with a little bow that's going to sit nicely in between everything at the top. And that is our card finished. And I think that is such a gorgeous card. Great design. As I say, it could be masculine as well as feminine. Change the bow, make the bow darker, nice dark brown. Or you could make it paler. It stands up perfectly. It is going to look fantastic on a mantelpiece, is this. The inside matches perfectly. Nice and simple, nice clean design for an insert. And I think that's going to make somebody feel better. I think it's going to make them feel great. And I just hope, I, th I hope it's liked. Well, I'm sure it will be. But it's just something a little bit different. So I've used all the Wild and Free collection on this from Fab Scraps. Check out my blog for so many more projects and all the details of how you can purchase yours. Keep watching on a Wednesday because we've always got our Fab Scraps projects and tutorials. We've always got our Anna Griffin projects on a Monday and a Friday. And there's lots happening this year, so keep checking my blog. You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter... And give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe because that head is going to pop up somewhere in this corner. So just hit the button and uh, subscribe to be notified when new videos are available. So I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.